Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming out to the second annual Berkeley Center for Green Chemistry Interdisciplinary Conference. I'm very excited about today's lineup. Um, we have people coming from all sorts of sectors, from all sorts of places, to tell you about different approaches to advancing greener materials um, in our society. And the first thing we're going to do this morning is I'm going to introduce our director, John Arnold, who's going to tell you just very briefly a little bit of what we've been doing over the last year or so. We're still a, a burgeoning center. This is only our, our second year of operation. Um, so uh, we're very excited about the gains that we've made in bringing green chemistry uh, in an integrated fashion, both in public health the School of uh, Natural Resources, the College of Engineering, the College of Chemistry, um, all coming together to really see how we can make uh, green chemistry a reality. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce uh, John Arnold, professor of chemistry and uh, a mentor of mine um, to uh, introduce the center. Thanks, Marcy. Good morning, everybody. Marcy, can we just bring up my presentation? So welcome to Berkeley. Um, I'm John Arnold. I'm a professor of chemistry in the College of Chemistry and director of the BCGC. Um, I want to start off the morning by giving you an overview of what BCGC has been doing over the last year. Thanks, Marty. Since uh, the, uh, the last conference last March. We are a multidisciplinary um, endeavor. We're supported by several colleges on, on campus, as Marty mentioned. Um, we're also supported through the BCGC Consortium um, uh, from, from this group down here, and we're very grateful for that support. It's that support that allows us to do a lot of our work, a lot of our administrative work, and to put on these conferences. The idea behind BCGC is that it is a multidisciplinary center. We're looking very holistically at the problems of green chemistry um, from not just one perspective, but from the whole life cycle that's involved um, in, uh, in where chemicals are made, how, they're, how, they're, uh, how the research is done behind what chemicals are made, and ultimately the fate of those chemicals down the road. So we have to look um, across campus at, uh, at these very different um, departments here and bring those people together. And that's what we've been doing over the last two years. So you can see on this diagram here, if you look at the, the associate directors in the center here, these people work very hard for BCGC to, uh, to bring this, this picture together and to make the center work. And you can see a great diversity here in terms of the kinds of um, people that we have working in the center. So this is very important, we think, for our activities, that we're not just focused in one particular area, that we work together to solve these problems. And in the process, learn a lot from each other about um, our interest in green chemistry. Now, what have we been doing specifically over the last year? Um, the last year and actually the last two years have been very productive, particularly in the education area. So um, we've made, I think, great strides at revamping our curriculum, particularly in chemistry, but also I'll show you some graduate courses in green chemistry that have also been very effective. Um, but here, um, many, many of the Berkeley undergraduates, more than half of them, take at least one course in chemistry, and many of them take two or three courses in chemistry. So we have a captive audience there of, of some very smart people who go on when they leave Berkeley, often not to do chemistry, but to do with the very important things, being doctors and lawyers and engineers, et cetera. And we're developing a, a new curriculum here. Um, funding for this has come from uh, two main sources. Seed funding for this started with a grant from um, uh, Cal DTSC. Um, that, uh, that effort has then been picked up with funding from the Dow Foundation to continue this and to renovate the, the chemistry labs. Uh, the freshman chemistry labs at UC Berkeley, uh, and importantly, to fund curriculum development. So the efforts that have been started, um, in particular by, by, by Marty Mulverhill and Michelle Dusky in chemistry, 
Um, they're going to expand into all our freshman chemistry labs now. And you can see here um, the, the approach, and that is that we, uh, amongst other things, we introduce concepts of sustainability and green chemistry into our freshman chemistry labs. So very exciting, um, great for the, uh, the undergraduates here at Berkeley that we're doing this. In addition to that, we're working um, actively with the green chemistry commitment. Um, this is an attempt, uh, a nationwide attempt, to set some standards for what constitutes um, a program in green chemistry or uh, an emphasis in green chemistry in a chemistry department. Uh, we're hoping that we're going to roll this out sometime later this year, probably by the ACS meeting in the fall. And um, this is the current draft of that commitment text. It's a set of guidelines that departments that want to um, certify themselves or associate themselves with a green chemistry program uh, can adopt. Um, and this can be tailored for um, individual departments. It's not a one-size-fits-all policy here, but it's an attempt to give guidelines to um, departments that currently um, don't teach um, green chemistry and sustainability to give them ways that they can think about doing that. So we're currently working with um, the Green Chemistry Commitment. Um, that's through Amy Cannon at Beyond Benign. In addition, graduate courses. We have new graduate courses that uh, are taught from a multidisciplinary perspective. So Chemistry 234 was one that we did last spring, in the spring of 2011. That was, I, I believe we had five instructors in that course. Um, we were all present in the room along with a group of uh, about 35 graduate students. Um, we have um, several courses now in progress. We have this course here, the Public Ethics of Green Chemistry. Um, this is being led um, by um, two of the associate directors uh, at the Berkeley um, Center for Green Chemistry, Alistair Isles and Christine Rosen. Um, that's from a grant from, uh, it's supported by a grant from NSF and also this EU Center for Excellence grant. Um, so many of these efforts are ongoing. We have a good track record now in, in putting these courses on. Um, the next challenge for these will be sustaining those courses down the future, and we're working to do that now. Uh, we're also working with the Greener Solutions program here. So um, uh, these, these projects here, there are several of these ongoing. Um, this is a, um, a three-unit um, course. That, um, that takes um, student teams uh, and they work on challenges that are posed by host organizations. And you can see we have two um, initial partners here with Hewlett Packard and the Healthy Building Network. And into research. So research, I think, is, is a very important part of what BCGC needs to do. And increasingly in the future, um, we want to expand this area. I think we have a really good foothold now in the area of education at the graduate and undergraduate level. And uh, we're expanding into research now with some, some very interesting new developments here. Um, Plum, which has uh, um, uh, started last year, uh, went live last year. Um, that's been very effective here. That's a, um, uh, an open access database that's giving you uh, ways to find out about um, uh, chemistry and chemicals. Uh, we have uh, this program here, Breast Cancer and Chemicals Testing. Um, that's building on work um, in public health. Uh, Dr. Megan Schwartzman, another um, associate director in the center. Uh, Alistair Isles is working on bio-based chemical research. This is funded, um, importantly, by the um, uh, uh, Haas SPS program. Um, so that's Alistair and uh, Abby Ringer. And then lastly here, um, a program in chemistry department and toxicology with myself, um, Marty Mulverhill, and um, Chris, Volpe. Chris Volpe, sorry, Chris. Um, we have two Chrises in the, in the program, and I have to remember both of them. Oh, here's Chris, yes. Um, so we have, uh, we have uh, these programs starting in terms of research here. Um, uh, on the um, public policy end of things, um, here's Dr. Megan Schwartzman, um, research at BCGC. Um, uh, being called upon to, to give testimony to, uh, to public uh, bodies, you know, in particular here, the California legislature. 
So you can see a very wide range of activities that BCGC is supporting and getting involved in. That's reflected in, in a diversity of publications here. You can see um, over here, these are focusing on the, uh, the public policy publications that we've had in the last few years. And, and um, alongside these, there are many publications that are acknowledging BCGC support from BCGC researchers in, um, in chemistry. The last thing I want to mention here, very um, uh, interesting recent development. Um, we've sub we submitted a, a grant to NSF last year for um, an IGERT, which is a graduate training grant. This is a $3 million program. Um, we, we learned this week that we have been recommended for funding under that program. So um, that will be a, a five-year, $3 million program that will support, I think, around 12 graduate students. And uh, those students are going to uh, um, come from um, uh, various colleges across campus here. And the idea of this is um, to sustain, uh, to, to, to do work in, in energy-related questions. So the, um, the, the program here is involving, in particular, work relating to these areas here, so biofuels, solar, and energy storage. And students working on these programs are going to ex experience the graduate courses um, that, we're, that we've uh, set up here. They're going to have access to all the BCGC resources. And uh, we hope end up being better graduate students, better informed about their, their, um, their work as a result. You can see here, here's the, um, the, the team that, that put this together, um, led again here by Chris Volpe. He's the PI on this proposal. But you can also see here broad range of support from across campus. And then the faculty involved here who contributed to this po proposal, you can see also um, chemistry, public health, law, toxicology, public policy, um, et cetera. So a very broad program here. So we're very excited by this. That sets us up very nicely um, for our, uh, our continuing work in green chemistry here and uh, off into research. Marty assures me that those are actually sage leaves. So SAGE is the uh, um, system's approach to green energy here. That's where the SAGE comes from. So I think with that, um, I'll close. And uh, if anybody has any questions, you can, you can certainly feel free during the day um, to ask questions in, in any of these sessions. And um, unless there are any questions, I will hand the floor over to Dr. Mike Wilson. Um, another associate director in the BCGC, and he will start off the program.